Dr. Ross, I have a duck friend here for you. He's got something either caught in his throat or a lump on his neck or something mom noticed a couple days ago and she's concerned about it. All right, come with. Yes, sir. Wouldn't miss it. Okay. Hello, how you doing today? Good, Long how are time you? no see. I know, thankfully. Baby's a crested duck that I've been seeing for a few years. The tufts of feathers stick up on his head. Look like they just had a long night. Hair is everywhere. That's a genetic mutation that happened at birth, causing the actual cranium not to fuse properly, causing that little tuft to be up that way. Don't you have two ducks? Yeah, so my fiance decided they would be great Valentine's gifts. Uh, about three years ago, they were each a day old when I got them, so I'm all they know as far as mom. These guys basically are everything to me. They have little shoes that they wear. They have a stroller. They have diapers for when they're indoors. What's going on with them today? Well, actually, I um, took a trip over the weekend, and I had some in-laws watch them at my house. Okay. Um, and when I came home, I went to give him his little bath, and I noticed that there was a big lump in here. OK. And I didn't know if maybe they didn't cut up his cucumbers or something really good. And so I played with it a little bit, trying to get it to go down. And I put him in a bath of water so that way, you know, you can let him naturally try to fix it or whatever. Okay. And, um, it went down a little bit, but I, it just feels very funny to me. Of course, he can't tell me. How's his appetite since then? Of course, he's fat boy, so he's still eating a little bit, but not as normal. You say I'm not fat, I'm big bone. Come here, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Good thing is he did um, throw up on the way here. So that was, a, to me, that was a kind of a good sign. What, what, what did he throw up? Well, because he, he gets upset in the car, right? Well, he, he does that quite he a bit. He does that in the car. But I, I liked it because it, it showed me that it was it's still Something. working good. OK. What happened to his beak? It's mating season. So he keeps trying to go through the little gate at his brother. Yeah. They don't understand it. No, that's that. a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's healing. Dogs get aggressive during mating season. They get like to bite, scratch, claw. Heart's nice and strong. How old is he? Three. The good thing is he's young. I don't believe it is it's a, a growth. That's what I was worried about, but that's, uh, that's why I came. Yes. So what we could do is take an x-ray of his upper airway. You know, these guys don't like to be restrained uh, on their side, but if it is some type of food, a cucumber, or something that could possibly be pushed down, we may have to sedate him, pass a red rubber tube, and push it into his stomach. Uh, but we'll we'll take a look, um, take some x-rays. I couldn't imagine my life without him. Well, we'll take good care, baby. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, can you give me the iPad? <laughs> Quit it. Hi, Dougie. So my name is Hi. Baby. Oh, my God, I love his Oh, this is Baby. Doesn't Someone he have else. another one, too? Ducky. Yeah. yeah. Baby and Ducky were uh, chasing me around the room last time. Really? Let's do some Ducky x-rays. <laughs> I know you're mad. I know you're so mad about it. Yush. Who's that? What is that, huh? Ooh. Trying to get away, huh? I got duck slapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to hold the wings that way. After getting hit like that, I wasn't expecting Baby to stay still doing the x-rays, but Baby did really well. <laughs> so looking at the x-rays, this is where that swelling appears to be. Right. The trachea is here, looks symmetrical. I don't see anything that appear to be an obstructive pattern. I don't see anything that looks like a space occupying lesion, like a mass. I know we, we talked about yeah. that. The reason I don't believe it's anything in esophagus is because he is eating and he vomited when he got motion sickness on the way here. Yeah. If he had something in his esophagus, he probably would have vomited that up like a cucumber or anything of that sort. I was hoping to see and I didn't. The lump that the owner was feeling could have been something that baby ate. And it took longer than normal for it to get down to the stomach. Thank you. Fine, uh, thank you so much. Are those the guinea pigs? Yes. 
spray and neuter. Who's guinea pigs are these? Um, those are Dr. Ross's guinea pigs. He don't have guinea pigs. They've been here for spay and neuter for quite a while now. Why haven't I seen them? I've had a, I've had a cat in this cage right here yesterday. Well, actually, I just moved them up here, but they've been hiding in the back cages. Key word, hiding. Hiding. Who's hiding? They're not really hiding, like, you just kind of camping Look, out back there. Camping out? Yeah. We've been, like, cleaning them up and getting them food okay, and here. water. I got to get to the bottom of these guinea pigs. Something ain't smelling too right up in here. And it smells like Dr. Ross. Kayla loves them now. Peaches and berry. Peaches and berries? Yes, I named them. Those are my children, really. Why have they been here so long? We're supposed to be spay and neuter them, but I don't know when. They keep, like, getting on the list every day, but then we have so many other surgeries that come in. I'll go talk to him about this. Okay. I'll handle it. OK. Dr. Ross, we're trying to do all these surgeries, and you decide to bring in guinea pigs? You want to explain yourself? I don't got to explain nothing, man. I explained to my mama and my daddy. That's not what your wife said. <laughs> That's why the guinea pigs ain't at my house. <laughs> Tiger say, I know these ain't gonna be here for long. I said, no, baby, I'm gonna take them to the job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what Dr. Levine nor Dr. Blue saying. I'm doing this favor for my mom. Mom comes first. hitting the male first so he can get his neuter done. I rescued these guinea pigs from the shelter. Um, an owner turned them in, stated that they couldn't take care of them anymore. I knew I could find a good home for them. Reason we spay and neuter guinea pigs, to help with overpopulation and aggression in males. One thing you gotta worry about with guinea pig surgeries are anesthesia. Guinea pigs are so small. As long as you keep the oxygenation up, and you also uh, make sure they stay warm, everything else should be fine. Intact male guinea pigs get aggressive. And the last thing I want to do is give a classroom pet as a guinea pig. A month later, there's five of them instead of two. So I want to make sure we sterilize them, get them taken care of. All right. Game time. How we looking? Good. Time to rock and roll. <laughs> Sounds good. One down, let's get number two ready. Let's get peaches on the table. Done. Good job, Kira. Good job, Dr. Ross. Finally got the guinea pigs done. I know, now Dr. Blue can leave me alone. <laughs> 